Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Well, just like that, the weather's about to get active again across the lower 48, and it's going to be happening right around New Year's into next week. We could be looking at some rainfall, some severe weather, also some warmer temperatures, and maybe even a snowstorm next week as well. The details about all this stuff is still up in the air, but we're going to be getting an early look at it as an active pattern does look to be on the way. First off, we are taking a look at our European high resolution model, and we are looking at our upper air pattern here. This is going to show us our wave pattern way above our heads, which has a huge influence on the weather across the United States. And we are speeding this up to tomorrow morning. We are going to have a ridge over the central and eastern United States here. This is bringing some warmer temperatures than we have been looking at. But across the west here, we are taking a look at a trough. Notice how it's forming this U shape right here. Every individual trough that we see moving across the United States is going to act as a little wave of energy here, which is going to bring a cold front with it, and it's going to help initiate those bigger storms. As we get into Thursday, this trough deepens and intensifies across the uh, plains, but it doesn't last for very long. As it ejects off into the northern Mississippi River Valley, it's going to become a weaker trough, and we just see a couple mini ones developing behind it here as we get into this weekend. But as we do head into New Year's Day, we're going to see... A Another trough developing across the western United States here, one that is breaking up across the east. We've already been looking at a bunch of rainfall for your holiday weekend across the eastern United States. As we get later into early next week, we're going to see probably the most intense trough of all of them making its way into the central plains here. This is the one that could bring a wave of severe weather, possibly a snowstorm on the eastern fringe of it here, and it ejects off into the Great Lakes as we get into Tuesday morning. So what's the Climate Prediction Center saying? Well, for New Year's Day into the late portion of next week. It's showing widespread above normal precipitation across a large chunk of the United States here in these green shaded regions. Particular areas of interest are going to be the desert southwest in the Rockies and also the Ohio Valley southward into the Gulf Coast here. That's going to be the areas where the highest chances for above average precipitation is going to be located. So let's see what that can look like. Again, we are using our European model, but this time we are taking a look at our simulated radar imagery and we are speeding this up to Thursday morning of this coming week here. We're going to have several low pressure systems across the United States here. One of them is going to be bringing some mixed precipitation and snowfall to parts of Nebraska and this will move off to the northeast as we get further along the time. Something interesting is going to be happening as we get into Friday here. Notice a buildup of much warmer temperatures than what we have been seeing across the southern United States, northward into the Ohio Valley. Even in the Great Lakes, you're going to be looking at high temperatures around 50 degrees here, but these get into the 60s and even close to 70s once you get closer to the Gulf Coast here. Compared to the major Arctic outbreak and wildness that you guys have been seeing, this is a lot warmer uh, than we than, than we would expect for this time of the year, so that's going to be a good thing for holiday weekend. And if you thought this was warm, wait until we get into early next week. Stick around for that if you live across the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes. Some exciting stuff is coming for you guys. As we get into Friday, we're going to have a high pressure buildup over the southern Appalachian Mountains, but we still have some rainfall and maybe some storms across the lower Ohio Valley into the Tennessee River Valley here. We're not expecting many of these storms to be severe. I don't think we're going to have the instability for that, but the low does move off into the northeast as we get into Sunday morning of this coming week here, which is going to bring some widespread rainfall to the eastern United States. And then we speed this up into Monday morning. And now this is where stuff does be, um, become uncertain. Remember, the time that I'm recording this video, this is only Tuesday morning. And we're, we're already talking about next Monday. So there's a bunch of stuff that can change. Yes, we could see a snowstorm on the northern fringe of it here. But it's way too early to start throwing out snowfall amounts. Just know that we could be looking at a northern snowstorm across parts of the plains and the northern Mississippi River Valley as the low does move off to the northeast. And let me back that up for a second. Notice what we are seeing on the southern fringe of this across uh, Tennessee into the Gulf Coast here. Strong thunderstorms for Monday evening. We're going to have some dew points here that are going to be making it into the upper 60s and low 70s across a broad swath of the central Mississippi River Valley and into the Gulf Coast here. This tight moisture buildup here is going to help make the environment unstable. And notice just behind it here where the cold front and trough is located, you got dew points that are only in the 30s and 40s. So where the dry air clashes with the moist air, that's how you get instability and that's how you get those severe thunderstorms developing. 
On top of that, we're also going to have a strong low-level jet. Remember, the stronger that our low-level winds are, are going to increase the potential for tornadoes in the area if we do have adequate shear, or adequate shear and instability. So we'll have to keep an eye on this here. I'm not saying we're going to have a big-time tornado event next Monday. I don't know at this stage. We're still a ways out. Uh, but we will continue to keep an eye on it. It does look possible that we could see severe weather and tornadoes for next Monday. That moves off to the east as we get to Tuesday morning. And then take a look at this guys here's your high temperatures roughly your high temperatures tuesday of next week here so this is a week out yeah we're gonna have a cold front across parts of the northern mississippi river valley guys it's winter it's not a big deal something that we'd expect but the eastern united states into the deep south here we are gonna have temperatures in the mid 50s across parts of the ohio valley and the lower great uh, lower great lakes to near 60 degrees for areas like detroit down to columbus here very warm temperatures for this time of the year they get closer to to 70 degrees as you get closer to Charleston, uh, Charleston, South Carolina, or North Carolina, sorry, uh, and you get further southward into uh, Florida here. Very warm temperature buildup preceding this cold front by early next week, and the rain progressively moves off into the southeast as we get into the middle portion of next week. Here's a look at the precipitation that we'll be looking at over the course of the next seven days here. So this is ending Tuesday morning of next week. The Weather Prediction Center is expecting several inches of rain from the deep south into the Ohio Valley in the lower Great Lakes here. These pinks and above, you're going to be looking at over an inch of rain. So heavy rainfall, definitely looking on the table. Can't rule it out across the uh, across parts of New England as well. Widespread heavy precipitation across the western United States as well. We got an interesting week ahead, and we can certainly be looking at some interesting weather around New Year's. So if you guys do want updates on this, be sure to subscribe to the channel with those post notifications turned on. And also be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys want other people to get this information as well. But until the next video or live stream, stay safe, and I will talk to you guys back here next time.